Hi there, my name is Chad Sakach, and I'm the proud leader of Dell EMC's Converge platform and solutions team. Hi, this is Ravi Pendekanti. I'm the Senior Vice President for the Server Solutions uh, at Dell EMC. I'm glad to be here. So one reason that Ravi and I, I mean, we work a lot together these days, but the reason that we wanted to get here and, and talk about this publicly is a question that we both get constantly is how is it possible that the number one leader in servers, Dell EMC with the PowerEdge portfolio, and the number one leader when it comes to converge and hyper-converge infrastructure, once again, Dell EMC with our VBlock, VXBlock, VXRail, VXRack, and XC portfolio, how is it possible that we wouldn't be looking to displace the Cisco UCS portfolio inside our block uh, family? And this is what here, we're, we're here publicly to, so you can see it coming from both sides of the business, so it's pretty simple and clear. So Ravi, tell me, why do you think customers buy converged infrastructure? Very simple, Chad. The customers want to see the confluence of this, the compute, the storage, and the networking coming together. Mm -hmm. And in a way, they want to make it non-disruptive to their existing workloads. And more importantly, they want to have a, a single hand to shake. The question then becomes for you, yeah. Chad, yeah. is how do you think customers look at the server infrastructure as part of these solutions. So critically, if CI and HCI are a system, what I see from customers is they view the, the server platform as a critical ingredient in how they build their IT infrastructures. So now let's, let's make this very real for everybody who's watching. So inside the Converge infrastructure world, not just for Dell EMC, but at large, there's multiple different system level designs. There are blocks, what we call racks, hyperconverge rack scale infrastructure stacks, and hyperconverge infrastructure appliances. Now, the one thing that they have in common is this black color. The black color defines the system boundary. Again, this is an idea that is uh, a little bit foreign for customers that are looking at converged and hyperconverged infrastructure as, in essence, the ingredients that go into the meal as opposed to the meal. The black line defines the meal. It's the thing that the customer is evaluating, choosing, buying, and is ultimately what they uh, get from a support standpoint. So let's start over here with HCI appliances. HCI appliances are designed to start extremely small. HCI appliances are designed to come in form factors that literally you could have a single 1U or a 2U yep. platform and you could scale and grow that platform by adding appliances and scaling it up and up and up. And frankly, these can support huge enterprise customers at either their branch or even in their core data center. An example, in fact, I'll give you two leading examples, would be the Dell EMC VX Rail platform and the Dell EMC XC platforms are in this category. Absolutely, Chad, and that's exactly a, a good uh, way of looking at these two platforms and as to how these are being actually deployed today is based on PowerEdge. Yep, so we, we've converted the entire set of products all to using PowerEdge R630s, R730s, and R730 XD platforms. And in doing so, we made them twice as fast, have 250 times more configuration, so broader reach and flexibility. Right. And in fact, it's, it's really the leading server platform for SDS and HCI deployments where they're capacity dense. So more and more it's using you know, SSDs and NAND devices and NVMe platforms going forward. By making that ingredient, the blue server component with the red storage components more powerful, more flexible, it makes the, the thing in black, which is the system, more competitive and more compelling. Now, inside the rack scale system, it's the same core system design. And once again, everything that we're using inside the industry leading VX rack portfolio, so VX rack SDDC and VX rack flex is using? PowerEdge? That's right. Same core platforms are actually used here and here for all the same reasons. And, and the key thing here is we want to ensure that our customers have the highest reliability, availability, and manageability of any platform out there, and that's what PowerEdge brings to the table. And the way we are doing this, again, the key thing is we have two of the best engineering teams working together mm -hmm. between the CI team and the server team to ensure that we actually have the best in class products out there for our customers. Not only today, and again, all of the things that we've just described are available today and uh, customers are consuming them every single day, but also what we work on tomorrow. So Ravi's team and my team are already working on how do we build next generation SDS platforms and HCI 
rack scale systems and appliances and how do we make those roadmaps come together over the next year, the next two years, the next five years. And uh, we can't do it on video, something that's going on the internet. Absolutely, Chad. I mean, it's, it's an exciting journey to it, say the least. It's pretty face meltingly awesome. So. Yes, it is. Awesome. Awesome. Now, you then move over to this category, the block category. Now, inside the V block category, which is really led by V block and VX block, we started that category seven years ago when we formed VCE, now obviously a central part of Dell EMC's Converge Platform Division. They're synonymous with CI. In fact, they're like the Kleenex of, of Converge infrastructure, right? Now, the defining element of the black system level design in here is that you'll notice that first things first, there's always an external storage array. So whether it's a VMAX or Extreme I.O. or the SC portfolio or Unity, the second thing is you'll notice that the top of rack switch is used in both of these system designs. Uh, an incredible success inside the service provider space yep. and the hyperscalers. Obviously, when it comes to our enterprise customers, which are the primary customers of these, when we ask them, what networking ingredient do you want to have in this, generally they say Cisco. And that's why Cisco ne Nexus networking is our standard inside how we deploy both rack scale HCI and blocks. Now, the, the key thing that I'd highlight is, is that customers worry about the ingredient when they don't really understand when they're buying CI, they're not buying the ingredient. The thing that they're evaluating is everything inside this black boundary. But again, customers start their journey by thinking that the ingredients really, really matter. So we say, okay, fine. Now, inside this category, when we started this exercise, we built the business using Cisco UCS. Now, again, Ravi's team furiously competes with Cisco UCS and has great products that compete We absolutely do, Chad. I mean, if you look at the compute block here, we have some of the best products in the industry with the likes of an M1000 ERFX2, which are doing spectacularly well in the market. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, let me also emphasize this, since we said we're going to be completely transparent between both our organizations, our intention is not to change the current portfolio. We're going to remain as it is, and we'll continue with the success we have gained over yeah. the last few years by using Cisco UCS here. Now let's explain on why that's the case, because people are like, I don't understand that. So first things first, remember how I said that we started this journey seven years ago? It's been an incredibly successful journey. This business continues to grow at 20% year-over-year growth rates. We have thousands and thousands of customers. We've publicly stated it's about a $3.4 billion business growing at 20% CAGR. That's fantastic. Customers are voting with their feet that in this category, in this category, and in this category, they like the formula. They do. And uh, as Michael Dell is very fond of saying, as long as you're listening to your customers, they will guide you correctly. Our customers are saying that increasingly they want CI and HCI for that you know, single hand to shake. Single hand to shake, yeah. Right? And increasingly they like all three of these formulas for different use cases. So why? Why would we change a successful formula to swap out one ingredient for another? There's no business reason to do it, there's no pressure, and there's no project, there's no plan, no intent to do it. Absolutely, Chad. Just to be clear again, folks, internally, we are collaborating between the server team and the CI team here on the HCI racks and HCI appliances, but when it comes to the CI blocks, there is no intention to change anything that's in place today. For customers who are evaluating and choosing to build their own stacks, they evaluate the red, the green, the blue on their own. And again, we think we've got some of the strongest portfolio on the market. But when you're buying CI or HCI, you're thinking about it from the system point of view. Now, the other thing that I want to highlight is that all three of these categories are growing. So uh, that said, the growth inside this HCI space is... It's over 70, 80%, and some analysts even say that it's over 100%. We've had some quarters where these categories have grown more than 100% quarter over quarter. And so naturally what our goal is, it, currently in this category, we're the industry leader by, we're north than 60% of the market. In this category, we're the leader, but it's closer. It's like you know, 40, 30, 40% of the market. And it's a market that is emerging, hotly contested and a place where we're going to innovate together Absolutely. over the next few years. So hopefully there you have it, everybody. It's pretty simple and pretty clear. Dell EMC, leader in servers, leader in networking, leader in storage, but also the leader in blocks, racks, and appliances, number one. Number two, inside the HCI categories of appliances and rack scale systems, 
We already are all on Dell EMC PowerEdge, and it's an incredible advantage that that ingredient is used inside the stacks. Indeed. And it's only beginning. We're accelerating our, our joint R&D for our next generation offers that will blow people's minds. And then number three, the last thing, inside this CI category, that there's no plan, no intent to change out anything that is involved with the Cisco UCS partnership, which is working great, and we're going to continue to do and have long-standing support uh, and joint engineering agreements with our friends at Cisco. Customers, partners, thank you so much. Hopefully you found this useful.